In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this fake camera focusing effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got some footage on your timeline ready to go, we can now go ahead and throw some effects onto this to begin the effect. So we'll go into effects and search for blur. And this is gonna load up a few different blurs. We've got channel blur, compound blur, directional, Gaussian, reduce interlace flicker, sharpen, unsharpen, and a few other things. But I'm gonna go with the good old fashioned fast blur. It is in the obsolete folder, but it still does work. So in the fast blur, we're just going to increase the blurriness up to around 100%. And as you can see, we've got this black border around our footage. So before we start the animation, we just want to make sure we select repeat edge pixels. And as you can see, that has filled that in quite nicely. We've got blur dimensions, we've got horizontal, we've got vertical. That doesn't matter so much for this effect. Just keep this at horizontal and vertical because this is going to create the most realistic blur on this effect. So essentially, as you can see, if I'm riding this number up and down like this, it's going to create this sort of focusing effect, trying to get it in focus, sort of moving the camera lens back and forth. So that is what we're going to recreate with the keyframe animation. So to begin this effect, we're first just going to begin by pulling the blurriness up to around 50%. Create a brand new keyframe on that blurriness by selecting the stopwatch icon. And then we're gonna move roughly half a second to the right and we're gonna pull this down to around 20%. We'll move to the right a few frames. We'll create a brand new keyframe on that, keeping this at 19. We'll move over a few frames and we'll pull this back up to a higher number. Then we'll move over to the right a few frames, create a brand new keyframe at 71 again. Then we'll go in between those last two created frames and we'll just increase this a little bit, but not by much. So if we play this back, you can see we've sort of got this drifting effect happening. We'll do the same thing again. We'll go to the right a few keyframes and we'll pull this down to around 10% maybe. We'll go to the right a few, create a brand new keyframe on 10. Then we'll go to the right, pull this back up to a higher number. And if we play this back from the beginning, you can see we're creating this focusing effect. Of course, if some of this doesn't look quite right, you can always change the gap between the keyframes. So if you wanted to create a snappier focus, you can just reduce the gap and that's gonna create a quicker focus like so. Or you can have a slower focus like so. And that's the basics of the effect now complete. Essentially with this effect, you just want to go up to a higher number of around 80 hold there for a few keyframes, so hold there for around five frames, then pull this back down to a smaller number of around 10. You're holding there for a few more frames, then you're back up to a higher number, and you're basically bouncing between these higher numbers and the lower numbers. You're really trying to hunt for that focus, and then eventually, once you've settled for a few seconds, you can pull this back down to zero and get yourself back into clear focus. Now, obviously you don't wanna do this effect for too long because when you're wrecking for focus, you're only doing it for around one second. And this effect is also much more believable when you're doing this on some handheld footage. So the camera's a little bit shaky and it's shaky because you're holding the camera. So if you shoot some handheld footage, you drop this into Premiere. If you do this effect on that handheld footage, then it's going to look much more realistic than it does on this static footage. But there you go. That's the basics of the fake camera lens blur effect. It's a really cool effect and it's the sort of effect that you're not going to use all the time. You'll probably get a very rarely use this effect, but when you need this effect, this will really come in handy. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.